Vocal runs are an amazing part of singing. They help us to express ourselves. They help us to dig into a little bit of our own personality and creativity. And if you want to learn how to do vocal runs, I'm here to help you. So let's get started. When you're not used to doing vocal runs, vocal runs can feel like a very big elephant in the room that you don't know how to chew, but how do you chew an elephant? One bite at a time. So we're gonna break it down into a few tips that are gonna help you to master your vocal runs. So the first tip I wanted to give you in learning vocal runs is a little bit of homework. I want you to learn the major scale and I want you to learn the pentatonic scale. Now, for those of you that don't know what the major scale is, there are, are notes that give us the alphabet of the notes that we have that are available to us. I'm gonna actually give them numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. One, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now, when you take out a few of those notes, when you take out the four and when you take out the seven, you actually get the pentatonic scale. One, two, three, five, six, one. One, six, five, three, two, one. Now get this. Vocal runs are actually made up of combinations of the shapes that you will either find in the major scale or the pentatonic scale. So if you familiarize yourself with those scales, you'll actually find yourself coming across different vocal runs and shapes that actually take advantage of those two shapes. And I'm gonna give you an example from Kiara Sheard off of her song, Wake Up. Rise from your rest. Yeah, so let's break it down. So we get Kira singing, rise from your rest. In this scale, we get two sides. We get one that's built off of the pentatonic scale and one that's built off of more of a major scale shape. Rise from your one, six, five. Those three notes in that succession actually comes from the shape of the pentatonic scale. And then we get a repeated note from your rest. So she's singing the same note. And then we get a piece that's from the major scale. From your rest. Boom, boom, boom. Five, three, four. So fabi. And here's the thing with vocal runs as well. When you know these shapes, you can actually go up and down them. So here, Kiara came down and then she goes back up. From your rest. Five, four, three, four, five. Four, three. So you're actually getting a lot of the same shape that's going on there. So we got that last part that's actually common to both of the scales. And, and then she makes a jump to the six. And, and again, that little chunk is actually a common shape, but the jump is something that's a part of the pentatonic scale. And you actually find yourself singing through these scales, going up, going down and, you know, making exercises out of them, you'll actually find yourself starting to recognize the shapes that other people are singing that are, belong to these two scales. Promise it will help you. So let's take this half the speed. Yeah, and let's take it full speed. Yeah, sing Kira. Now, after you're done practicing your pentatonic scales and your major scales, I want you to practice your vowels because that's actually going to help you to actually start to add some new colors to your runs. A, E, I, O, U, R, A, A, O, U. And all of those vowels are gonna help you to start to imagine words in different ways and also imagine tones and notes in different ways. And we're gonna pull this example from Brandy when she performs Say Something at the Soul Train Awards. Oh, ooh. <laughs> the run is nasty, it's cool. Let's break it down. So she gave us which actually is from the major scale. Oh. And then she gives us a skip. Oh. 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 We got that skip. Oh. 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 We got these notes that are here and we got two scales that we're pulling from, but we have like three or four vowels that Brandy is pulling from here. So we got uh, and you can even call that first note an O oh, rather than an uh, just to kind of help us to get it. Oh. Uh. And then you go straight to an oo. Uh. And then we got oo continuing there. And then we get uh, kind of like, um, uh, oh, that, that's disgusting. Uh. So, uh, ooh, uh, uh. and then she brings it out gradually into an uh. 
uh, and we get an uh at the end. This is much more than A E I O U and A A A O U. Not only are there a few of more modern English and Italian vowels, but also practicing vowels will help us to hear when a singer is creating a different vowel, what it takes for them to create it and what it takes for us to create it in our own voices. So let's take this half the speed. Yeah. And let's take it full speed. <laughs> Sing Brandy. So the scales and the vowels were more foundational pieces to help us start to recognize patterns when it comes to learning. But when you're actually in front of a vocal run that you hear that you want to sing, this tip is really going to help you to actually put it into practice. So what I want you to do is to start to break down your vocal runs into small chunks. A lot of people think that they need to learn the whole thing right away when it's often easier for you to be able to start to recognize the patterns right that are going on and actually get it in your voice little by little. And for this one, we're going to actually do it in real time with Beyonce's crazy and love run that she does live. Oh, 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 oh. She's been doing this run for years and we're going to learn it right now. So first of all, what I would do if I were hearing this for the first time, I would actually loop the first part over and over. First of all, she's on a woe. So we got Whoa is our first note. Whoa, oh, 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 oh. And that little jump at the bottom is a reference to the pent pentatonic scale. Yes. Whoa, oh, oh. And then we're getting into a little bit of the minor scale. Whoa, oh, oh. And the natural minor scale is actually just the major scale in a different place, but that, that's a dev of the conversation. Whoa, oh, 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 oh. And I'll kind of uh, just. Fast forward this. There are, you know, instances of the pentatonic scale and of the major scale. Uh, but for this, I just want to build your skill to actually be able to just split things into chunks. So let's start with the first piece. Do, 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 do. And I would just sing that over and over. And then I would get to the next part just to make sure that you're learning the melody of the run correctly. Do, 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 do. That's the second part. And then you would, of course, connect the first and the second piece. Do, 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 do. And then finish it off. Do, 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 do. And then put it all together. Do, 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 do. And then especially for a run that has a large range like this, I'm going to actually connect it on an ooh and just ascend into my head voice just to kind of help me. Do And now that I've got that under my skin, I'm just going to go straight to singing it. This is more about learning it. Whoa. And I'm not doing it as quick as she is, but the essential idea is there. And when it comes to even speeding up the run, there are times when you want to, you know, go into a more heady, soft place of your voice to actually get the speed. But that's a different conversation in terms of how to sing vocal runs. But this is us trying to learn the melody. So let's take this half the speed and you try and sing along with me. <laughs> Yeah, and let's take that full speed. And this thing is massive. Beyonce, oh my goodness. <laughs> and for those of you singers that are looking for more information like this that will help you to sing better, I encourage you to go to my uh, my masterclass where I'm actually help giving you guys some information that will help you guys to unlock your own creativity when it comes to your singing. So I want you to go to reclaimyourvoice.ca slash masterclass and actually watch the free training and really help yourselves to get more reacquainted, not just with other people's voices and other people's styles, but your own voice. So I want you to go to reclaimyourvoice.ca slash masterclass, watch the free training and reclaim your voice. Reclaiming my voice. Anyway, let's get back to learning about vocal runs. Now, when you combine those first three methods in terms of familiarizing your hearing with vocal runs, this is where you want to start to apply my last two tips for you. The first one or our fourth tip is that you need to understand and separate how someone is singing a vocal run for their own vocal build versus you singing their run for your vocal build. So what it means is simply this. Everyone's voice is built differently. There are sopranos. 
there are tenors, basses, and baritones, and you know, you can use vocal thoughts to, to describe it, but even more so, there are so many different ways that voices are made and created in different shapes and sizes. And each voice has its own innate strengths and weaknesses, and also their own ranges. And with those ranges, there are breaks within the ranges. There are so many things that are specific, but your voice is very unique. And what you want to start to do is first of all, listen to other people that are singing vocal runs and start to do them, but also understand and start to experiment with how you sing vocal runs compared to how they are gonna sing a vocal run. What they're able to do, what Beyonce is able to do, may not be what you're capable of doing right now. The way that Beyonce does it and the way that it works in Beyonce's voice is gonna work differently for you probably so that could mean um for a guy that wants to be able to get up there they're going to be using much more of their head voice than a lot more of the chestiness that beyonce brings to you know that belt and to that run and to create that power it's also a different conversation and this is actually something that we actually talked about in the reclaim your voice podcast where we did talk about vocal use versus vocal build sometimes because we're lazy sometimes because we also have our own inner facts about what our voice is and what who we are as singers we definitely can have a part in just limiting ourselves and just blaming it on our voice when actually we just don't know how to use our voice properly i definitely want you to go and listen to that episode because that's going to give you some more understanding of how to start to understand your own voice in a separate way from other singers and what they're doing. And the last piece is the most important. Listen to people that sing vocal runs. Listen to people and get a lots of different artists and lots of different vocal runs in your own arsenal. The way that you do it and the way that you start to learn even to do your own vocal runs is you listen to people that sing them. I would always go to gospel first because with gospel, they're doing a whole bunch of wonderful, amazing things that will help to open up your brain to the possibilities. So go to gospel, uh, go to R&B because really black genres are really going to be the ones extend your lexicon in terms of doing vocal runs in a pop vocal setting. All of that stuff comes from gospel and from black genres. So start listening to your Beyonce's, Karen Clark Shear, Kiara Shear, B Slade slash Tone A in the R&B world. Listen to Jasmine Sullivan. Listen to Brandy. Listen to all of these wonderful people that have been making music for a long time and using vocal runs as an expressive tool. Now, here's the very important thing about singing vocal runs. The thing that will distinguish you as a singer is not singing other people's vocal runs. It's when you sing your own. And this is something else we talked about in the Reclaim Your Voice podcast, where we talked about why copying vocal creativity actually holds you back as a singer. A lot of us are stuck in the world of copying where looking at everybody else's strengths and even comparing ourselves to the strengths of others while not discovering our own strengths because we're not creating our own original sound. So I definitely want you to go and watch that episode, but also reclaim your voice by subscribing to this channel because this is the place where we help you to reclaim your voice, reclaiming my voice. I'm O'Neill Gerald, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye everyone.